Yeah. Yeah. Sound good though, yeah. I work uh, mainly in collage, so I uh, paint big sheets of paper, uh, cut them up, glue them down to uh, surfaces, and, and layer them up. You know, those small little details I'm really attracted to. I'm Andy Harris, and I'm an artist from Norfolk, Virginia. There's like a couple spots that I pass by a lot, uh, whether coming home from work, going to my studio, old signage. If it's a sign that's like an old neon sign that's coming off of the wall, I see that kind of dimension and my brain is like, you know, I know how I could collage that. I didn't really go to school to be a teacher, so when uh, I decided to teach art, I was like, man, my strength is going to be in being an artist, so I'm going to approach teaching to uh, being like a creative and an artist. I would say that my, uh, my technique kind of found me. My kids wasted a lot of paint at school, so what I did is I started uh, using the extra paint and painting big sheets of paper and hanging them to dry, thinking of like doing like a, a collage assignment. I had a really low budget at the time, so I had to make things work. That first day, I went and started painting the paper and started cutting it up, and I was like, dang, I could take this really far. And that really spawned my whole process. So my collaboration with Jevin and Platoon came from selling a piece of art to someone. Uh, they were looking for like a childish Eric Carl Hungry Caterpillar type look and I had um, sold a slingshot to someone and it was in the background and it's a pretty cool story. They're like, what's this? So it's, you know, it's evolved from that. I usually make like four or five pieces per song, send them out and then we talk about them and we maybe pick two that I'll kind of enhance or remake and then we, what we do is we just narrow it down to, to the one that fits the song best. You know, collaboration always kind of gets me out of my normal thing and, and spawns something brand new. I'm staying authentic with the project and I'm making everything by hand. So if we need to move something over a little bit and change the color, I start from scratch again. I paint a bunch of paper, I recreate uh, the backgrounds and um, change the colors and I make a brand new piece for every revision. But all in all, getting in front of a piece of paper on the wall and gluing and cutting to it, that's where it's at for me. 